Hello there, David Risley here with blogmarketingacademy.com and we're gonna do the first weekly update video that, uh, which is a new thing that we're gonna be starting up here. Now very often, my intention here is that a lot of times this is actually gonna be a live thing on Facebook Live on the Blog Marketing Academy Facebook page. However, sometimes due to schedule and stuff and that's sort of what's happening today, um, I will pre-record these things in order to post them out there. Uh, but this is gonna be a weekly update video where I'm basically going to update with what's going on with the Blog Marketing Academy. I'm going to be um, talking about some of the things that I observe out there that I might want to talk about and then doing uh, questions and answers called Ask BMA. So we'll get into that here in just a little bit, but let's pop on into it here. First of all, I wanted to bring you up to speed with The Daily. Now, whoa, I just moved my camera. <laughs> um, if you are not a subscriber to The Daily, it's a free uh, every weekday email. Sometimes Sometimes it's three times a week, sometimes four, sometimes five, but it's called The Daily. You can subscribe to it at blogmarketingacademy.com slash daily. But it's an exclusive newsletter uh, where the content that goes out there, it's not a pitch fest or any of that stuff. It's actually what most people would do on their blog. I do it to my email subscribers. Essentially, I don't blog a whole heck of a lot at blogmarketingacademy.com. Most of it goes to subscribers of The Daily and the feedback back on that has been really great. Now, what we've been doing lately in the last probably eight or nine issues is something called the List Building Challenge. And I just sent out this morning uh, daily no issue number 209. Uh, we are getting pretty close to wrapping up the List Building Challenge, actually. But basically, the whole idea is that we've been going through um, specific actionable things that you can do to increase the rate of growth on your email list, but things that you can sit down and do in like an hour or two. I'm, I'm not trying to give you a bunch of theory. I'm trying to give you something very specific that you can go and actually do like as soon as you read my email, okay? So those are the kinds of things that we do in the daily. Um, and if you're a lab member, of course, you can go back in time and actually look at the daily archives. But if you're not a subscriber to the daily, it's completely and totally free. Uh, just go to blogmarketingacademy.com slash daily and subscribe. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention about the daily is that we're about to start doing an audio version of it, okay? Now, it's gonna be a little different because it's not like I'm just gonna be reading the daily, that'd be a little weird, but I'm gonna be using that same topic of the daily and I'm basically going to talk about that um, in audio form for those of you guys who would rather listen to it because I've we've got a podcast here called Coffee Break Blogging and it was pretty popular and I stopped it mainly for lifestyle purposes. I mean, I, I like to go travel out in my motorhome and stuff like this, and and creating the the uh, coffee break blogging podcast was becoming rather time consuming. And, and I have had people ask me, hey, are you bringing it back? I'm loving your podcast, but I haven't seen any new episodes and that type of stuff. So the answer is yes, we are definitely bringing the podcast back, um, and but it will be different than it was before. And a big part of that is going to be the uh, the, the daily, okay? So you can subscribe uh, at blogmarketingacademy.com slash daily, or you can get on to the podcast, uh, which is called Coffee Break Blogging. I don't have the link handy <laughs> right in front of me, um, but I can include it along with this video uh, if you want to get subscribed to that. What we're doing right now, we've got a little internal project going on where we're uh, reorganizing some stuff with regard to how we're managing the, uh, the actual RSS feed for that podcast for the 160 episodes of that show that are out there already. And once we get that done then, and switch the feed over, we're gonna go ahead and start releasing new episodes. I've actually already recorded eight of them and they are for the list building challenge. And so if you are not a subscriber to The Daily and you miss those episodes, be sure that you're on the podcast and pretty soon you'll actually start to get that same content uh, with a few additional things because I don't read it. I basically ad lib off the daily uh, and we see what comes up, but that will be coming up on the podcast. Like I said, we've already got eight episodes in the can just waiting for the reorganization project of that uh, feed to take place. All right, let's switch gears. Let's move over into 
the lab. I want to bring you up to speed with what's going on inside the lab, which is the training site of the Blog Marketing Academy. There's actually been quite a bit going on inside the lab lately. We, um, I added, um, see, I'm counting them right here, six new videos to the final module of our course called the Email Marketing Engine. Now, the Email Marketing Engine is the course for email marketing inside the lab. It covers, um, you know, the whole gamut, how to set up your email autoresponders, how to actually manage your broadcast, how your broadcast and your, and your automatic emails work together. It basically gives you a full strategy on how to actually execute your email marketing so that it's not this, this thing where you write up a few emails, throw them into the sequence, and then you don't know what to do after that. I, you know, one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of people make is getting people onto an email list and then it kind of goes dead and they don't send that much to them because they don't really know what to say. Well, a lot of that is all done inside the email marketing engine. I give swipes. I keep hitting that camera down there. I've got basically this camera sitting on a tripod and I keep hitting it. Um, so, that's the big idea with the email marketing engine. There was one final module that was called email marketing mechanics that needed to be finished while I was out there traveling around the country. And I've gone ahead and done that. So some of the videos that have been added were single opt-in versus double opt-in, like which one should you use and when, uh, maximizing your email deliverability, because a lot of people, uh, you know, when you, when you hit send on that email, it doesn't mean that it actually gets there, which is kind of a sucky thing when you first realize that. And so there's a bunch of strategies. I actually discussed 10 different strategies in that training video on things that you can do to increase the delivery rates of your emails. I have a video on there on how to use lead scoring. Now lead scoring is a somewhat more advanced feature. It's actually not difficult at all. However, you typically will only see lead scoring in a, in a marketing automation platform like Drip, uh, active campaign, entreport, one of these kinds of guys. Uh, and so if you are using one of those tools, I do have a video now on how to utilize lead scoring. Um, I've got another email called, or a training video that I put in called formatting emails for different platforms. So this is how you can take an email and actually make sure that it looks decent on mobile phones, on the desktop, in different email clients, like in Gmail and uh, Hotmail and Outlook.com and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, we, uh, sometimes we forget that when we send an email out to people that just like our blogs can look different in different web browsers, sometimes our emails can look different to our different subscribers and we need to make sure that it looks proper. So that video covers that. Um, I've got another video uh, that's mainly for newbies, uh, but on how to actually set up lead magnet delivery. So when somebody subscribes and you need to send them to the lead magnet or your free download, how do you actually go about doing that? And I've had some people get confused on that, which is totally cool. And we've got a training video to show you how to do that. And then the last one is landing pages versus opt-in forms. When do you use each one? When do you use a squeeze page? When do you use a opt-in form sitting on your blog somewhere? And so we've got a video for that. Again, uh, more for the beginners on that one. Okay, so those are the six training videos that have been added to the email marketing engine inside the LAM. Um, once that email marketing engine uh, course is completed, because it is now, I went ahead and just yesterday um, extended the online business roadmap to include this section. Um, now, I can talk more about the roadmap project later, but it's a massive project that I'm doing that's taking a person from nothing. Like you don't have a blog, you don't have a product, you don't have an email list, you have no traffic. And I'm taking you all the way up into your, you have a profitable scaling business. Like, so it's beginning to end. It's called the roadmap. I'm currently working on phase three of a five phase project um, on this. And um, at each time that I add a new section, it necessitates creating either a brand new training course or doing a massive revision to it. And so this particular section that's now been added on building your email marketing engine now coincides with this full training course we have in there on the email marketing engine. And so that section of uh, phase three of the roadmap is now available. 
Now, in terms of what's coming up, what are, where I'm heading now, uh, the next section of the roadmap has to do with actually setting up your blog in the best possible way for the purposes of conversion. And so that is going to be a radical revision and updating of the existing course called the Perfect Blog Blueprint. The Perfect Blog Blueprint is in the lab right now. It's actually some pretty good material. However, I'm gonna go in there and, and do some revisions, add some stuff to it, and that will be the next thing. So if, if you want to be able to tweak your blogs with with for conversion in mind to get more people onto the opt-in list to uh, to get more sales out of it to increase your uh, you know your traffic lower your bounce rate enhance your SEO all that stuff it's all going to be covered in the perfect blog blueprint inside the lab okay that's the lab <laughs> All right, uh, one other thing I wanted to make mention of uh, is the um, upcoming niche selection webinar. One of the biggest topics that I get from people, biggest confusions that I get from people, is at the very beginning when it comes to choosing their niche. And we need to do something about that. I want to make it simpler. I want to alleviate some of those confusions. And so I'm actually in the process right now of creating a brand new webinar that's going to be totally free and out in the open for you. Um, and it will be on this topic so that I can bring some simplicity to this idea of selecting a niche and what to do with that idea once you've got it. Okay. So that'll be coming up soon. I, I recommend that you uh, stay tuned. Make sure you're on my list. Make sure you're on the daily at Blog Marketing Academy academy.com slash daily and you'll be sure to know about the niche webinar okay let's move on to ask bma okay so first of all before we do this ask bma is going to be a new thing that we're doing where you can submit questions or requests to me and i'm going to answer them for you in this format okay and um it's Basically, it can be a question about anything that I've said on the blog. It could be a request that I review your blog if you'd like to do that. It could be a request that I give you feedback on a lead magnet or a landing page, uh, feedback on some strategy you're thinking about doing. You get the idea. It's something that we do for lab members all the time, but I wanted to have a, a limited version of that that we can do out here uh, in the open so that I can help everybody else as well. So if you want to submit any request to Ask BMA, you just go to blogmarketingacademy.com slash ask. Okay, that's blogmarketingacademy.com slash ask. Now, we're going to answer a few questions right now. A um, couple of them here were from somebody named Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. And she's at herbalcollective.news. Okay, so the first question she was asking is, is it best to use cloud-based software for opt-ins and landing pages? And she's talking about things like click funnels, convert tree, lead pages, stuff like that. Uh, or is it better to use a plugin that integrates with WordPress? Okay, so pretty simple question here. Uh, basically, should you go with a third-party uh, landing page creator like Lead Pages or or uh, ClickFunnels and stuff like that, or go with a plugin like Optin Monster or Thrive Leads, which is my personal favorite? The the truth is, there's really no right answer here. Um, what I will say is that I personally think that going with a plugin for WordPress, if you're indeed operating a WordPress-based site, is going to be a better way to go, and the, for, for opt-in forms specifically, because that integration level with WordPress is something that you will only get if you're running it locally on top of WordPress. So for example, with Thrive Leads, you can build in opt-in forms that are going to, uh, that you can integrate in with the simplicity of a short code, or you can say, just put it into the footer uh, on all of my posts. And th these are not the kinds of things you can do with a third party system like that because they don't have that level of integration with WordPress. They're separate systems. Now, when it comes to creating landing pages, um, you know, you got to use what allows you to create the pages. Now, obviously, with um, 
these third-party systems like lead pages and click funnels are going to come with a, uh, a monthly recurring fee. Sometimes they can be a little bit expensive for some people, and so you need to keep that one in mind. Um, when you do it uh, in-house inside of WordPress, it's generally going to be much cheaper to do. Now, the way that I recommend that you create these pages with, uh, with uh, WordPress is using the Thrive Architect plugin from Thrive Themes. And there is a, a fee associated with that. Uh, annually, however, it's significantly cheaper than the other ones that you mentioned, like lead pages and ClickFunnels. It's significantly cheaper. Now, there are different tools. ClickFunnels does do more stuff, admittedly. However, um, that's my personal preference. So I, I'm a big fan of doing it inside of WordPress. However, if you like the simplicity of something like ClickFunnels, if you like lead pages, it comes down ultimately to personal taste and what will allow you to get the job done as quickly as possible. All right, let's move on to the next question. So uh, Marilyn also asked a question here with regard to, um, she is creating an online magazine for herbalcollective.news, and she's using some software called Flip HTML to create this page effect on the magazine. And I actually checked it out, and Marilyn, it's a, it's a pretty decent, it actually looks like a real magazine, so well done on that. Um, and, but right now she's making it available for free and, um, but she was asking me, she wanted to be able to track the readers on that and also those who do a purchase. And so she was asking me, should she have them log into a membership site to read the PDF after they purchase or send them a download link? Now, so the, the question here would essentially comes down to this. It, after they buy one of these issues, should they be needed to log into a membership site to access it or should she just send them the PDF? My answer to that is that you should put it behind a login and have them log in for it. You want to maintain a little bit of control over that thing, all right? Uh, and that's, but that's specific to people who have purchased. Typically, when somebody has, if you're trying to give something away for free, don't give them a hurdle. I mean, you don't need to, if, if you're giving the magazine away for free, just send it to them in their email, okay? But if it's indeed a purchase, then go ahead and put it behind a membership. It gives you access control over it um, and, um, and go from there. I think that'll be the cleanest way for you to do it. All right, another question here I wanted to address is um, she, she's thinking about buying Thrive Leads, but she's asking, does it integrate with Sumo Me? Um, the answer is no, because they're two different tool, tools. Sumo Me would be a replacement to uh, Thrive Leads. However, Thrive Leads is significantly better. I, I actually, now, you know, I haven't personally played with Sumo Me in, in over a year, but I can say that when I used it, I found it to be pretty limiting, and if you wanted to get some of the cooler features, you had to pay for it on a monthly basis, and I thought the pricing was a rather ridiculous up compared to the competition. Thrive Leads is a much better deal, provides much better uh, flexibility. Um, and so, no, it doesn't integrate with Sumo Me. Sumo Me would be a replacement, but I think Thrive Leads is much better. Um, what do you think of that as a pop-up on a site? I think she's asking, what do I think of Sumo Me in terms of doing pop-ups? It works, but Thrive Leads is better. You're gonna be able to make better looking opt-in forms with Thrive Leads. And uh, does Thrive Leads have pop-ups? It absolutely does, okay? Now that dives right into one other question that I wanted to do. This will be our last question for Ask BMA today is, should we use a pop-up on our blog to build our list? What would you suggest for software? <laughs> All right. So what should I, would I suggest for software? The answer would of course be Thrive Leads. That is my recommended plugin for that. Now, should you use a pop-up on your blog to build your list? Um, it comes down to personal taste yet again. However, the, a lot of people say, do pop-ups work? Yes, they do. Generally speaking, it's going to work better than like an opt-in form in your sidebar. That being said, there's no doubt they're annoying as hell. I personally think they're annoying as hell. I very rarely personally opt in via a pop-up form. I close it because I'm sitting there doing something and the damn thing gets in my way. That's what I, and, and so it makes, it gives me an instant bad taste in my mouth. For that reason, I'm just not a real big fan of pop-ups. Um, so should you use a pop-up? I, I, I wouldn't. 
but it's not because it doesn't work. I mean, you'd have to test it. Uh, what I would recommend that you do is use contextual opt-in forms inside of your blog content. Because those opt-in forms, A, they're not intrusive, but B, they're going to usually out-convert because it's actually relevant to what I went to the site for. I went there to look at a blog post on something that I'm interested in. Now, if you then offer me some free download that's tightly related to the reason I was on your site to begin with, I'm very likely to take it, okay? And with Thrive Leads, you can do what's called three-step opt-in forms, or you could even do two-step opt-in forms if you'd like, uh, where you can put that opt-in form on the blog post, they can opt in and get it, and you don't have to take them anywhere. In other words, you're not, re you're not detracting from the user experience. You're not removing them from the blog post right in the middle of the blog post when they opt in for it. You're, you, they can opt in and then just continue on reading, okay? And you can set those forms up with Thrive Leads. Again, one of the, one of the reasons I love Thrive Leads so much. So those will typically convert better than a pop-up because you're working with the natural intentions of the reader, not interrupting them in the middle of it. Another type of form that I found that can work really well is the same basic concept. It's a contextual lead magnet. It's a content upgrade, but you can slide it in from the bottom, okay? So typically bottom right or bottom left, and it just sits there, and if the person closes it, fine. But the point is you're not getting in their way and like, you know, saying, hey, you know, come, get, come pay attention to me right now it's working with what they are already doing and I find that that is less intrusive but not only that it converts better in a lot of cases not always so you got to test it out um, if you're willing to run pop-ups on your site do a split test and see how it actually converts for you and see how you want to play it all right, so that is Ask BMA for today. Once again, if you would like to submit a question for that, go to blogmarketingacademy.com slash ask and just ask BMA. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today. This is the first weekly update that I have done. Uh, like I said, very often these will be live. Uh, we'll see how it goes, actually. This is gonna be an evolution for me, but it's something that I thought might be a good idea to do. Um, and also, by the way, the audio from these weekly updates, I am intending to also release on the podcast feed. And so if you're a subscriber to the podcast, you will eventually start receiving these same weekly updates as a podcast episode. Um, and so you can go either way on it, okay? So that's the weekly update for this week. We're on uh, October 18th, 2018, and I will see See you on the next weekly update next week. See you later. Blogging and growing a real business around your blogging can be overwhelming and seem pretty complicated. The Blog Marketing Academy was set up to do something about it. I take a systematic approach, giving step-by-step -step processes you can follow to get the results that you want. At Blog Marketing Academy, I don't teach blog monetization the way those other people do. Around here, we're focused on building real businesses based on solid fundamentals that will have the staying power to provide the freedom and fulfillment you want. To learn more about it, head on over to blogmarketingacademy.com slash join.